Today we are looking at the Debian 13 Trixie edition. So the code name for the Debian 13 is a Trixie. And here is the boot menu of the Debian 13. And I'm choosing the LXQT desktop environment for this uh, video. So let's quickly boot it in a live boot. So this is a unstable edition or a development edition or a testing edition, whatever you can call it. So let's see what's new in this uh, Debian 13 Trix edition. Uh, Debian 12 was released a few days ago. So I think there will be uh, nothing that major changes. We should be seeing uh, minor changes. That's it. So as you can see, there is still a Debian 12 logo in the Debian 13. So this was the same case in the Debian 11. Uh, while we were making Debian 12 video, we will be we will be we were seeing like a Debian 11 uh, logo still in the Debian 12 testing edition. So that, that's the same thing will be happening in this edition too. So I'm running it as a virtualization which is in a VMware with 80 GB of hard disk, 4 GB of RAM and with two processors. And my CPU is like a i5 12 gen. So it should be taking a few seconds to load up because it's a LXQT uh, desktop environment. Uh, we should be seeing uh, it in quick action. So I already posted uh, Debian 13 Trixie videos uh, in my previous videos. Like uh, I, uh, I covered like almost uh, all every desktop environment, I guess. So we still left like a LXQ, LXDE and the standard one. That's it. We already covered everything like a KDE, Plasma, Mad desktop environment, Cinnamon, everything. So if you want to check that out, you can check that out in my channel, which are already available. And uh, the Linux Mint was also available. So I already posted of that, which is a, which was like a 21.2 Victoria edition. So if you want to check that out, you can check that out uh, in my channel. So I'll be posting like a two videos daily. So today is like a Debian 13 Trixie LXQT and LXDE uh, videos. So it is taking a, a lot of time still. I don't know why. Usually it shouldn't take this much of time. The stable ISO file will take uh, 30 seconds to 40 seconds in my uh, laptop and the unstable or the development ISO files will take like a minute and 30 seconds or two minutes like this. This is the uh, timing usually takes uh, in my laptop. So as you can see there is a LXQT desktop environment of a Debian 13 uh, completely loaded. Just a few things uh, running right now. So let's first change the display resolution first. So let's go to the application menu, go to the preference, monitor settings and change the resolution. My monitor is like a 1920 into 1080 with a 16 is to 9 ratio. So let's change that. So let's uh, keep that configuration. Yes. Let's close this thing. Let's open first the task manager or the uh, system monitor go to system tools QPS so let's first see how much of resources are consuming right now so LXQT is a lightweight so you don't see that much of uh, resource consuming here so let's these are all the process so let's uh, hover over the uh, CPU here is the CPU here is the RAM use it 785 MB that's a lot usually it shouldn't use like a 600 or 500 MB but uh, uh, we are seeing like 785 MB usually it, uh, it will be like a 560 to 620 like that but in this case uh, you are seeing like a 785 MB of a 4 GB so let's uh, see the about QPS 2.6.0 let's uh, keep it aside like this so you can see all the uh, process throughout the video i'm going to keep this aside throughout the video so let's open the terminal and type in few commands to get the some of the distro info so let's type in the command which is inxi command not found let's type in cat colon slash etc colon slash issue hit enter as you can see, it says Debian new Linux Trixie uh, full and slash SID. SID means it's a development edition or the testing edition still. 
So the code name is a Trixie and it's a Debian. So let's see the kernel version kernel version 6.3.0. Let's type in Hestop. Hestop is not found or not available. So let's uh, exit this thing. Let's go to the installer. Again, there will be nothing uh, change in the installer uh, because uh, we are seeing the same installer from the past versions also. So we don't see any changes in this uh, Debian 13 also, I guess. So we here we have like a, our Calamaras installer, which will be uh, same in almost every Linux distro. So there is nothing complicated in the installation process. So as you can see, it says a Debian 12 bookworm. I already mentioned that. Uh, if it's in a development edition in the beginning of the development edition you should be seeing the older version names like a Debian 12 bookworm which was the same case in the uh, Debian 12 while we are making the Debian 12 testing edition uh, there was like a Debian 10 so this is the not the Debian 10 it was like a Debian 11 so here you have the same thing also so first you need to choose your language in the installer you can uh, choose any language after that you need to click on next you need to provide your location you don't need to provide your actual location you can provide anything you want so you can customize here if you want so after that you can click on next you need to choose your keyboard here are uh, plenty of options in the keyboard section or else you can just uh, type in or test your keyboard here and you need to choose your uh, keyboard language I'm choosing English United States on the both the side. Click on next. And here is the main part or the important part to keep an eye on it. So first you need to choose your hard disk. Always choose the right hard disk. Uh, I'm choosing the virtual disk so I don't need to worry about anything. So if you choose like uh, any, if you are trying to install it on your main PC, so you need to be very careful here you need to choose your hard disk again i'm warning it's a, a unstable edition or a development edition or a testing edition you don't need to uh, test it on your main pc or work pc because uh, if you have any bugs it's going to completely ruin your pc so i don't want you to make that mistake so if you want to test it you can test it on like a virtualization virtual box or a vmware there are plenty of apps uh, to use it as a virtualization so if you want to install it on the uh, main pc or work pc it's a ba bad idea so try to find a pc which you don't work as a main pc or work pc and install it if you want so if you don't want all this trouble you just need to uh, go with the virtualization that's the best idea and they recommend i recommend that option so if you choose the rs disk it's going to delete the current operating system and it's going to install the debian 13 trixie LXQT edition so be careful if you choose this option it's going to delete the everything which is available in the hard disk you choose here so if you choose the manual partitioning you need to create a partition first and uh, you need to choose your manual partitioning there so you should be having a dual operating system like if you choose this option so let's get back to the rs disk and you should be uh, given the option of uh, encrypt system you need to provide the password uh, in the both the boxes which should be same and it will be encrypted so let's go to the bootloader location uh, if you're a normal user just keep this uh, master boot record of uh, uh, whatever it says on the hard disk so this is the best option so if you are a pro then go with the system partition or do not install a bootloader location you can do that later so it's clearly up to you after that click on next you need to provide your username and password try to remember your username and password or write it down uh, somewhere else so it will be good so you need to provide your uh, password which should be strong because for privacy reasons so if everything is going good you should be seeing a tick mark here if uh, you doing anything wrong you should be seeing like a x mark or into mark so this is the uh, process of uh, installation after that you need to click on next here is the summary of whatever you choose in the previous uh, installation so if everything is going good just click on install it's going to take like a five to ten minutes depends on your pc 
and depends on the iso file if it's a stable iso file it will be very quick if it's unstable or a development it should take a few more seconds there so that's the installation process let's uh, close this thing and let's quickly open like a 10 to 12 apps and see how good the debian 13 trixie will handle let's open the text text editor file manager and under the accessories we already opened the feather pad we even opened the file manager under the education you have like a golden dictionary let's open the graphics let's open library of straw lx image under the internet we have thunderbird let's even open that usl irc let's even open that office we already opened the library office so let's open qp this app which is like a qpdf view and under the sound and or, uh, video let's open like a mpv media player under the system tools we don't have the any important things so under the preference we have anything here like a snaptic package manager about LXQT. I think we are good. Let's even open appearance, which is for customization of the desktop. I think that's it. We almost opened everything like a uh, 9 to 10 apps, I guess. Let's see how good the QPS or the task manager is running. So let's uh, maximize this thing. Pre and thread. Here are all the process running. So let's quickly scroll it down. Here is the CPU. Here is the CPU. Memory. CPU. It's almost like a 98.5%. And the memory is almost like a 1.8 GB of a 4 GB of RAM. So this is the uh, resource consuming of the Debian 13. So let's close everything by checking their version. The library office version is uh, 7.4.5.1. Let's close this thing. This is a configuration center. So these are all the, uh, you can customize anything here if you want. So this is a LXQT appearance configuration. You can customize the icons, all the things. Icon theme, LXQT themes, font, cursor, GTK style. You can customize anything here. There are plenty of options. Not plenty of options. It's like uh, six to seven things. That's it. Let's even close this thing. And uh, the golden dictionary, you already have the version here. You can see this. Let's close this thing. And the Thunderbird version should be like a 102 because that's the version uh, we are seeing in almost every Linux distro. 102.13.0. So this is the version which is available in every uh, Linux distro. So the LXQT version is like a 1.2.0. So welcome to QCL IRC. You need to customize these things. So I'm not going to do everything because uh, I don't want to. Let's check the uh, version. Here is the version which is 0.14.0. That's all we want. So let's close this image viewer version. Here is the version 1.2.0. And the file manager version 1.2.1 which is PC man FM. And this is the text editor. Let's type in something, for example, my channel URL, which is youtube.com forward slash 925 Linux. This is my channel URL. I'll be posting two videos daily. So if you want to subscribe, you can subscribe. So let's check the version Featherpad 1.3.5. So let's discard this. So media player and QPDF view. Let's check the version. 0.5.0 and let's uh, go back to uh, finally the Snaptic package manager 
So the installed version will be highlighted with the green box and the installed version will be available right here. Let me show you. For example, the version is here. I'm going to scroll it down. So if it's installed, it will be like a highlighted with a green box and the version will be like this. For example, 2.40.90 like this. So I'm going to scroll it down very fast. So if you want to see this, you can uh, uh, go to YouTube settings and uh, go to the playback speed and change the playback speed from 1.0 to 0 0.25 and you should be seeing everything uh, in a slow-mo. So I, I did that because it's going to take a lot of time because that's a lengthy of uh, installed packages. So that's the reason I did that. So let's check the wallpapers and end the video because we completed everything. We don't have anything left here. So let's go to wallpaper folders. So you don't have anything here. They didn't have anything. Uh, even the previous versions of a Debian 12 uh, L executive version didn't have anything. So you should be, you shouldn't be having anything here, like uh, just a single wallpaper. I think the Mad Desktop environment and KDE Plasma have some of the wallpapers of Debian 12, but uh, in LXQT you don't get anything. So I think we covered everything. I guess these are all the desktop features. Nothing uh, unique here. Just the same basic uh, uh, desktop features. Notification center or notification keyboard all the things and the panel you can customize the panel if you want configure panel you can customize it's clearly up to you so at the end of the video these are all the process running right now let me quickly scroll it down so these are all the process running right now and the cpu is almost like a 3.2 I guess 2.3 and the RAM is almost like a 978 MB in the beginning of the video it was like a 700 MB right now it's like a 978 MB almost like a 200 MB so I think that's it for the video thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the thumbs up button it helps make a good content for you other than that I'll see you in tomorrow's video so there is already video available in the uh, YouTube if you want to check that out you can check that out because I'll be posting two videos daily so peace out